The Climate Witness Project is a campaign of the Christian Reformed Church Office of Social Justice and World Renew, and we are set up to um, walk with congregations, individuals, organizations as they learn about the realities of climate change and how to be better stewards of creation and the resources we have, and also importantly, how they can make their voice heard in terms of advocating and influencing public policy to really address the issue of climate change. We are particularly excited here at the Climate Witness Project that we've been able to step up. We've been able to continue our work um, and we've been able to do that in response to our moral obligation and duty to care for creation. Working with the CWP has been a great endeavor in bringing churches together across North America. Many are doing uh, all they can and these actions begin to extend uh, beyond the congregations to families and from families into the neighborhoods. People are speaking up from all sectors of the community, demanding that our leaders do something on climate change. And I, I want to see that spark continue. I think what makes the Climate Witness Project unique here in the state of Iowa is that so much of the way that we interact with the land and think about creation care is tied to agriculture. And what I really have found the most hope in is taking people through the biblical basis of why we should care for creation. Just kind of walking them through what scripture truly says about this topic and just coming to this understanding of how deeply God cares for the earth and all of creation. I'm excited to be a part of the Climate Witness Project now because Mayor Eric Garcetti has established a task force of faith leaders here in Los Angeles County. It's called the Interfaith Collective. And um, CWP has been invited to join that collective, uh, working with other NGOs and churches um, and faith-leading organizations for the benefit of the Green New Deal, the statewide initiatives to fight uh, against climate change. Probably one of the things that has been most rewarding to me has been my work with a group called The Table. We've been able to integrate our work with climate change as well as their approach which is to provide fresh organically grown vegetables and to give them away to the local community. Almost all the vegetables that are produced are given away. They're given to the community. This is a way to uh, make a point about the fact that fresh locally grown vegetables do address the issue of climate change and that has been very rewarding for me to be a part of that. This has been my first year working with the CWP, and in a lot of ways I've been looking for my center of gravity. Uh, what's most effective, what works the best. There's a lot that's going on, and what I am finding I really love is finding how to bring different people together who have common goals uh, to work together and make things happen. I'm encouraged by the courageous groups of people who push towards creation care. Sure, I can get down about the setbacks and the pushbacks, but I like to focus on how we're moving ahead with our ideas. The sharing of our ideas, the talking, the actions that are making creation a place that God would like it to be. Um, discussing creation care in the context of this climate emergency has led to um, some pretty poignant discussions with um, people of faith and people who aren't of faith um, here in California for me, and, and that's been very exciting. It, it connects my scientific background and it connects my faith. It's a case where Christians have become engaged in this topic and they are actively involved in addressing it. And that's what may, has gotten me very excited. This is the basis for change that we need. I just would love to see a movement built in the North American church, in the global church, um, to kind of own this issue of environmental issues of creation care, um, to reclaim it and say, you know, as Christians, this is our duty, this is our responsibility, and we want to be known for this. We want to love each other, we want to love our creator, and we want to love creation, and I would just love to see that be evident throughout the church. The church has the tools, it has the biblical mandate, it has the calling, it has the power, it has the indwelling of the Holy Spirit um, to be a huge game changer for the world. And as I see it, we find God in creation, 
when we become one with the earth. That way we can grow closer to God. If nothing else, I am hoping that we can grow stronger in community. Our best way to care for the creation that God has so generously provided for us. And if we continue to work together, uh, making changes that are necessary, uh, we can make the difference in the fight against climate change. And so as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, we are very encouraged by the support that we get. Um, and we want to encourage you to keep supporting the project, to keep um, um, investing in the project, and to keep, to keep thinking of us as we, as we do this important work.